What is up? Two videos, one day. Man, I ain't done that in months and months and months. Um, got all of these suckers. Came in the mail today, so um, we'll go through them. A couple of them were forwarded from my old address. Um, really no particular order. Um, Timothy Peters for the 2012 press pass. And I don't know how many days all of these are. With um, They're all, if I had to guess, within... They're all under 20 days. I know that for a fact. Um, so that Timothy Peters. Oh, we can't see it. It's up here. Up here. Paul Menard. Um, this one was forwarded from my old address. Um, he sent this little Liberty... Uh, what is this? What is this? I believe it's um, something to do with um, like brain surgery. Larry Durker had um, surgery, what was it, in 98? Um, he had like a stroke or something, man. I should have found out the details for the video. But he had something on field during a game. It was kind of a big deal at the time. And he had to have brain surgery, and now he, he um, teamed up with some... Um, company in Houston to do like a charity deal so he um he signed your autograph but he just asked you to go and and donate five to ten dollars for each item that he signed for you so that's the card he sent me or excuse what I sent him and he signed Mr. Steve Brown for my Oilers Texans project I've been doing aka the huge project this came back super fast, man. And if any of you guys are um, Hall of Fame seekers or Hall of Fame TTM guys, this is a must-have. Um, Ken Stabler. I mean, I think this came back in less than 10 days. So, that sucks, man. I'm trying to get this set signed, this Alabama set. And, man, this dude has like 10 cards in this damn set. So, I'm hoping um, I can get him one more time before it cuts me off. And I got another race legend in today, Mr. Bobby Allison. And holy shit, that shows up a hundred times better on camera than it does in person. <laughs> in person, you can barely see that autograph right there in the middle. So he signed that relic card, and he signed that relic card. And man, that looks sweet. Um, so that's that. Um, I've been watching a lot of your guys' TTM videos. And I gotta say, man, we're all—all all of us—are getting in some pretty badass stuff lately. Um, but I gotta say, I, I found one thing that I don't like, and I'm just as guilty of it as you guys. I'm gonna call it rule number one. Okay, rule number one of TTMing is I think you should know how to pronounce the person's name you're sending to. Man, I'm—I'm I'm just as guilty of, uh, of it as the next guy. But I think I'm gonna try to make a conscious effort to go on YouTube if I don't know the dude's name. <laughs> And put in his name and hear how other people pronounce it before I make an ass of myself on a video and um, mispronounce someone's name. So we'll call that rule number one. This series of rules might get longer. Might not. We'll see. Because um, I really don't think, I'm kind of like Stacy Schaefer in the aspect of, from listening to the Autograph Network and the Auto, um Autograph Nation podcast. He, I, I don't believe he thinks there's a whole lot of rules in the TTM, but I think he thinks there's a couple, and so do I. Rule number one. Pronounce the dude's name correctly when you make a video. Think about it. Adios.